So the fiscal one, the fiscal one might be a little more time left. Oh, it's probably. It's probably a few years, about a year or two ago, he's met him around at various gigs. And uh, we just got to talk to him now and again. Got to know him over the years. Mm. Just very friendly. casually. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the reason why we started, we went on the label is because we played a gig with him, his band, and we sort of talked about things. There was not, no talk about doing anything, but he sort of got to know us, and I think he got it into his head to have us on the label. Remember the first time you sent the image you had of him? Hmm? First time we met him, because he was pretty famous by, by the time we met him. Yeah. You know, because was, you know, because it was all the Jesus and Mary chain type hype at the time. So, you know, yeah, he really seemed like a nice enough guy. Basically, he seemed like quite. You know, we thought he might be really, you know, this businessman, or you know, you know what I mean. No time for anybody, but he was quite down to earth. So I thought it's all right. It was a really good label. We were stuck with some other label. We didn't like it at all. We had any problems with that before. We didn't know what to do. And Alan came up to us and said, uh, you know, "Do you want to sign? It? Well, do a deal with them, release the records." What he came up with was quite good. So we said, mm -hmm. "Yeah, sure." He just tell, I mean, just tell us the plans for the label because at the time nothing there wasn't a lot happening, and he just tell us what what was going to happen, you know. And so. He said, he said, we want to be part of it. So I said, yeah. So that's it. What did he tell you? Well, he, more or less what's happened, really. He, he sort of knew what was going to happen, really. Just with various things, like 99 free singles and a cheap album. Yeah. Has the love doing well, and possibly, you know, we could do well out of it as well. Yeah. It's worked okay. What about people that say that uh, creation is like a family? Maybe it used to be, but at the, at, it's... Like we do, I mean, we're friendly enough with various people and various bands, but it's not really like you don't really see anybody. I mean, we we don't we don't actually play with many of the bands or anything. Maybe it used to be like that, but nowadays it's a lot of the bands are very separate. Especially the bigger ones are more separate, you know. And like, uh, what about uh, like equally the label will go? That's what you put on the bottom of your clothes. Bit of a joke, I think. Uh, I mean, he yeah. it is true, but. And, uh, you know, it wasn't so dead time. So well, he does. Yeah. He does a lot of stuff out of love anyway. It's a lot of records he release. He did. They're not. They're not going to get very far. They, they sell a certain amount, mm -hmm. but they're not like hugely, you know, saleable commercial records. He does it because he likes the people and he likes to think the music's okay. That's how it's called the label love, really. So he likes he music. Yeah, he doesn't tend to put people on the label that he doesn't like. Proud to be on the Proud. No. <laughs> no. No. Wouldn't. Wouldn't ever be proud to be on any label. I mean, it's just a label. It's a good label. It's a good independent label. It's one of the best. It's better than Rock Trade as far as we're concerned. And like that's it. Think of the future. Maybe you don't want like going to leave the independent label one day to get bigger, really get bigger, and you're going to go for a major. No. Um. Hopefully we we can keep it like Factory and 4AD. That's the idea. Because bands on those labels can make as much money as anyone can ever make on a major label. Because you get, you get a lot more money on an independent label as well. That's another thing about it. You get 50% instead of 12%, you know. But if you had 50% you can do and the first lot of people will start the indies, like, you can see how so many bands have gone. You know, a lot of bands signed to major labels, but not, not hardly any of them get anywhere, you know. It's, in this country, it's not that necessary to be on a big label. I think for America, Europe in general, you know, it, it's no real advantage to be on an independent label, say, an, anywhere in Europe, in France, for example. You know, it's not wouldn't actually be a big advantage. But in this country, there is a huge advantage mainly because you've got a lot of access to the media that you wouldn't have on a major label. All the independent charts, radio shows, people, various TV shows, you know what I mean, magazines, everything. That you wouldn't have if you were on a major label, they, they wouldn't be interested. And like when the charts come out, you, you jump on it or you look at it, are you interested? Does it mean anything to you? Well, a bit. Only when we're in them. <laughs> yeah, it is. We look at it, oh, that's great, you know. We've uh, gone up to number five this week. Oh, brilliant. Do we? Well, we did once. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, not much. Yeah. They're, well. they're, pretty, they're not very realistic anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And your music we've all got a lot of violence. In a way. Not, not. Not it's macho quite, violence. Sort of violent release in one sense where we make a lot of noise and such. 
but it's not, you know, well, that's what well, Russia. Well, that's the problem, is that there's a big line from the government. It's not really a violent image. Um, we don't really know. <laughs> but the names, we, the old singer Dave came up with. Yeah, had this we, horrible name before, no, and he said, "Oh, we're just we were." We were in a pub, it. and the guy just said, "When when I call band my bloody hell time, we thought it sounded really silly, stupid, and that was a long time ago, and it just stuck. You know, it's in a way it suits in a way what we're doing. You know, there's a sort of a connection, but we were, we were actually going to change it once we did yeah. it, but. Couldn't think of a better name. <laughs> do we believe in it? We have always plans to do a gig on Valentine's Day. I don't know. We did, we did. We played the Valentine's Ball last year. Yeah. Yeah. No, it wasn't on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Do you know roughly how much it costs? Record it. I don't know because it'd be the recording costs and the actual manufacturing costs. And before we get any money, we've got to actually pay for the manufacturing costs, and they're really high. I'm not really sure actually how. It's a lot. Like usually, I don't really know what albums. I know on singles, right? You usually got to sell. Well, seven inches you don't make money on. Twelve inches you got to sell about. Say, say for example, you press five thousand. Well, you have to. Two thousand have to be sold before you can make any money. You know, albums, so I don't know. I don't really know how much an album costs, to tell the truth. <laughs> Never made one before. But it's your money still. They don't give it to you. It's, they're giving you a loan of money. What's the point? You know, you can spend it. You know. And you're in debt for the rest of your life, or whatever, you know, for the next ten years you have to pay off this. It's only good if you intend to be, in, if you intend to. Really, if you're, if you're on a major label, the main point is to sell as many records as possible. And you can't sell as many records as possible if you want to experiment. You know, you've got to find it. If you want to be a big, successful band, you've got to find... You've got to, you could be like Prince, for example, and it took him years and years before he's as big as he is now. He released loads of albums. You know, it's like... You know what I mean? He wasn't always huge. And, or you could, you could be like... I don't know. Like, a, like, like you get a lot of bands like come from our area. Assigned to a major, what, they, what the major does is they tell them to take a, a particular type of their music and push it forward, because that's the only way they can push they can push the product. It's very difficult to push a product of loads of different things, which we do. There are a lot of different areas that we cover. It's impossible to just push that one area. You know what I mean? Yeah, especially because yeah. what we're doing, a lot of stuff we're doing wasn't wasn't done in 1978, for example. The Sex Pistols never sounded like us, so they sound like rock band. Yeah. That was the Sex Pistols, you know, they're, they're just a glorified rock band, you know. That's a lot of people are getting off from dance music now. They love it, it used to be rock like that too. Mm. Now, a lot of these better labels call me that for dance music. Mm. Now. They didn't think of uh, even about training for that to be listened to. Mm. Yeah, to a certain extent, yeah. We, we've got some stuff coming out, you know, we've got songs some that use stuff as well. Stuff like That's that. Strange. Well, to a certain extent, you know, I mean, we don't, we're not jumping on any bandwagons or anything, but, uh, well, you know. Well, it doesn't sound like what's going on at the moment, anyway, so it's not jumping on a bandwagon and so we'll sound like this dance stuff, do some more dance stuff. It's not like that. It's more combining what we do ourselves, and it's just like you one idea. We have, we're not ignoring it, put it that way. We're not, we're not into the idea of being like a, a four-piece rock band, you know, who uses guitars and stuff like that. Like when you hear the album, you hear it's even more different than the single in the sense of that it isn't doesn't even sound like guitars anyway. A lot of the stuff. No, we don't like leather. You know, <laughs> <laughs> black. You know, it's a waste of time. Black and leather. <laughs> not it's really. Not that much. No. Oh. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's, I don't know. I suppose, yeah, I know what you mean there, but then again, that's because I suppose it wouldn't be a very good label for people that want to play that kind of music because Alan doesn't like it. You know, so they're, they're better off on other labels because people are more interested in the music.
That's the sort of a joke. I mean, they've got a compilation out, video coming out called Doing for the Drugs. So, you know. Drugs. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Got any? Thank <laughs> you.